Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of A Five, Six, Seven, Eight Bruin Banter! The Bruins were in Fort Worth, Texas this weekend competing at the Metroplex Challenge where we competed against the number two seed LSU, Washington State, and NC State. And your Bruins killed it last Aww. weekend. We got a score of, a team score of 197.625. That is a season high. My Guys, friends. we're going like this. Slowly up and up <laughs> and up. There's no waves. Oh, there's up no waves. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and so today we have a very special guest. She is Olympic champion, world champion, national champion, and Metroplex champion, <laughs> Kyla Ross. Hello. Hello. Hi, Kai. Welcome to the show Thank again. You. How did you think we did this weekend? I was really impressed with how we did overall as a team. I think we really were able to just like focus in and compete very cohesively. There was no second guesses. There was nothing like that. Yeah. There was no doubts. I think we were, that's why we were able to just go in and hit all of our events. And then when the team store came, we found out that we were one. It was just like so much excitement. Let's take a look at the meet. Roll the tape. We'll start making sound effects. So you Bruins started off on the uneven bars and we did have our ups and downs, but Kyla came in clutch with her 9925 routine, oh, okay. sticking her dismount. And also Savvy Shea, AKA Savannah Coyman, came into the bar lineup for the first time, anchoring for us and she scored a 9825. She's been working so hard in the gym and to see her go up there with confidence, especially after, you know, that down part on bars. Yes, exactly. But she pulled it together and for a freshman, she was so mentally strong. I'm just so proud of her. Mm -hmm. Go Savvy. <laughs> And then the Bruins went over to Balance Beam and we killed it on that event. The whole Beam squad was ready and we scored a 49-625 and Pang Pang Lee over here scored a perfect 10 sticking that dismount. <laughs> and also Kyla rocked her routine sticking her dismount as well and the judges Oh, they didn't really to want to give her the 10, but she scored a 9975. The first few meets we didn't really pick up from where we were last season, but I mm -hmm. feel like now we're in the groove and we really have smooth sailing from here. I, I completely agree with that. I feel like you guys found your momentum and the yeah. rhythm and everything. Found our beam like, mojo. You're ready for a 49.8 next time? Oh. Maybe a couple more 10s? <laughs> I, I say we go for like three 10s in a row. Yeah. <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> All right, so then the Bruins were off to the floor exercise, and of course we performed with bedazzle, some sparkles. Caitlin Ohashi, I don't know what she gets this from, but she decides to throw in things last minute. And I saw her warming up this twiddle split thing. <laughs> like crossing leg split thing down to the floor. And I was shocked she did it in the competition, but Caitlin, you pulled that off, girl. <laughs> Lastly, the Bruins went to vault in Napualani Hall duck perfectly stone cold her one and a half. It was beautiful. So much height, so much distance, loved it. Mm -hmm. And then Kyla Ross, also known as Kyla Boss, <laughs> stuck her full two. Mind y'all, she stuck everything. She was on it. <laughs> Kyla won vault with a 9925. Kyla, I just realized two judges on different events gave you perfect scores. But then the other one was just, you know, maybe saw something a little different, but it's okay, you're perfect in our eyes. It's coming soon, it's coming. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you scored the highest all-round score of your career. Didn't you, 39.7? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How exciting is that? It was really fun. I, I think I was just able to just go out and hit all my routines to my best ability and I had a lot of fun. And especially the atmosphere of the meet, it was a really big crowd. There was lots of young gymnasts there. So it was really fun to be able to go up and high five them after all the events and just to see the crowd's reaction. And, and then having such a great team result was also mm -hmm. really fun. How's your mentality when you train and then when you go to competition? Because I feel like nothing phases you. Like it's Kyla is literally, same. Kyla's like this, no waves, <laughs> just still water. <laughs> it's just something that was instilled in me as a young gymnast. I think my, my club coaches always keyed in on just like teaching consistency. So mm -hmm. I think that's dr just drilled in my mind. So every day when I go into practice, um, I just train like I want to compete. and. If there's something, I always just try to find the, the little things that I need to work on and every little detail counts. I right. think whenever I go up um, on each turn, I know it's like, oh, I just got to fix this a little bit in order to, to get a perfect score and just help um, contribute to the team. Yeah, you're a great leader by example. 
Thank it's, you. She, I think she just inspires all of us to be like that. Like train how you want to compete, compete how you want to. She's sure just such a powerful me, so. mind. Yeah, <laughs> me too. So you came in freshman year. It just seemed like it was a seamless transition for you. I don't know, because you just came in and rocked it like in everything, academics and in the gym. And I just want to know, like, what was the? Is there a difference from freshman year to sophomore year? Because I feel like, like she said, you're so consistent in everything. What's your secret? Like, what's your secret? I took the year off of um, school before I came to college, so I think that that kind of helped me with the transition. Um, just being in such an intense training environment, in elite, and then. Just having that year off to kind of just focus on myself definitely helped. But I mean, everything wasn't always perfect. School was a little bit hard at first, but I think I was able to just really focus in and make sure I was doing everything I can to, to get good grades. It was a great season, but I know that I definitely wasn't in the best shape that I could, could have been in. So that's why um, competing all around was definitely a struggle. Just trying to stay health, healthy was a little bit hard. That's like the biggest difference I made this summer. Even in spring, right after season finished, I just told myself that I needed to get in better shape because mm -hmm. I wanted to be there for my team competing all around every week. So definitely trade hard in the spring and over summer and the difference is, is definitely visible. I just, I feel a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. um, I feel healthier. So um, it's been fun to be able to compete all around uh, a lot this season already. So we decided to bring back a brew and banter tradition and bring back the Twitter question. So we asked you guys to ask some questions for Kyla Ross. So this Twitter question ties in nicely to our last train of thought about getting in better floor shapes. At Callie underscore Kev 63 asked you, Kyla, what did you do off season to be so strong on floor exercise this season? Girl, I am impressed. Hashtag you rock. Hashtag yas queen. Hashtag broom banter. Okay, definitely <laughs> commend Kevin for all the hashtags. Those are pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Missing out on floor a lot last year due to like injury and not being um, as physically fit. I just feel like I wanted to be back in the lineup. And so I definitely worked hard on that. And, and Jordan helped me a lot um, in summer and in spring. And even in, in preseason, we just trained floor a lot, just a lot of conditioning sets. And I think just having the intention of always trying to get better each day on floor and definitely switching like my mentality. I think last season, like I would always just go into my last pass, just like hesitant. One day Joe just came up to me and she's like, you are strong enough. Like literally just flip that switch and just know you're gonna hit that last pass. And I did a floor routine and it was like one of the best ones I'd done. So um, I think that definitely helped just having the mental toughness, staying strong throughout the whole whole routine. It's nice seeing that Joe's taking a very comfortable spot mm -hmm. in the coaching position. And she seems like she's doing so well, planning everything out. And I mean, she, I think she was born to be a head coach. Honestly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She always comes in with her notebook. It yeah. Just, she is prepared literally every day before practice, so. I'm yeah, glad it's helping and, and our floor line has just been so, so strong, strong this year, yeah. From Bex66, Kyla, looking back on your transition from elite to collegiate gymnastics, how do you think your outlook on gymnastics has changed? Ooh, that's a very good question. Um, that's why I picked it. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's common for a lot of elite gymnasts to kind of burn out towards the end of their careers. Um, training that many hours and being that dedicated to the sport is, is kind of hard to do it for so many years, so I know that definitely the culture has changed a bit and a lot of elite gymnasts have been looking towards college uh, to finish off their career. So um, I always knew that going in, competing in elite, that I was gonna finish in college. I gave myself a year off just to kind of focus on myself and to experience some things that I didn't get to do. What, so, what kind of small things? I live 15 minutes from the beach and I think when wow, I so trained nice. elite, yeah. I'm not exaggerating, I think I would go to the beach once a year. That is not an exaggeration. Guys, she lives in California. I, just, I went paddle boarding <laughs> and four wheeling in the desert. That was a lot of fun oh, too. Like I fun. really want to do that. Wow. Yeah. So I think just giving myself that mental break and just getting to experience new things definitely helped me in my transition um, to come here in UCLA. And I think it also made me a little bit more independent because I know mm -hmm. that um, my family supported me a lot when I was an elite. Definitely would drive me everywhere to yeah. practice, to school, <laughs> cook my meals. So I think just being able to be more independent. Um, helped ease that transition. Mm. Thank you so much for all of your Twitter questions. Make sure to keep up with the UCLA Gymnastics Twitter account to see if we can ask more questions in the future about other We're gymnasts. gonna keep this tradition going. Yes. <laughs> your Bruins will be back in Poly Pavilion this Sunday at 1 p.m. before the Super Bowl going against Oklahoma. For the first time, not in just UCLA gymnastics history, but in college gymnastics history, it will be showing on ESPN. So tune in. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you. All right, guys.
We will see you next time on... Five, six, seven, eight. Bruin, Bruin Bitter. Bitter.